Welcome to the Prospered Soul Podcast, or welcome back. We're continuing on with developing the relationship with yourself, a relationship of self-trust and self-worth and building your intuition. Yesterday, we talked about listening to yourself and how heeding your intuition is vital and can be vital to saving your life. And I shared an experience I had where I did listen to myself. It did protect me. Now today, we're talking about specific religious teachings and how that can make a division or a divider between you and yourself. And that is not God's intention. See, you don't develop a relationship with yourself if you come from very religious backgrounds because you could have been taught you are not your own. I don't know about you, but that Bible scripture got drilled into my head that I am not my own. I was bought with a price. And the life that I live, I live through him. Now that I understand spiritual law and what scripture actually means as studying it yes for us to be a success at all it to even become what we were born to be in this lifetime we do need to walk and operate according to spiritual laws because this world is a world of laws. So your thinking, okay, your emotions, all of that has to do, um, all of your, your actions and motivations and all of the inner works within you and getting a hold of your mind, understanding that um, you have a lot more power in the in the understanding what the kingdom of heaven is and the kingdom of God is within you and all of that yeah that has to do with living through him because it's essentially what it's saying I designed you this way this is how you function just like with gravity and astronauts and um, people that work in the space programs they have to respect and work through laws of this elements the same with us but the way that it is taught if you aren't someone who questions authority is you're going to be spoon-fed all of these behaviors these external actions for you to do and think and be and have that classified as living through him or living through the law and it's just simply not true i mean there is a real danger to opening up your heart to the wrong people because it takes you out of your power and it leaves you susceptible to abuse and misuse and tolerating bad behavior and there's significant damage that's done to you when you have prolonged exposure in this state. You, your internal system goes from being adaptive or life-saving to maladaptive and health damaging. Because of that constant state of stress activation, we are so brilliantly created that our spirits our spiritual makeup knows when we are out of alignment with our truth and it doesn't just like it says God is not mocked it doesn't say well she doesn't know or he doesn't know that it that's a lie that they're following you just take on the damage so it is vitally important that you understand what it feels like to be true to yourself. You cannot wait 
to figure this out. You need to every day get in tune with yourself and, uh, and understand what God's will or the universe's will or spirit's will or what is you, the will, just the will for you to be here if you don't believe in God at all. You've got to understand what peace feels like. What is peace? P-E-A-C-E. What does that feel like? Because that's what you want to follow after. Because peace will never lead you astray. And desires, and this is where it becomes very important for you to get a hold of that, um, to understand your values. Because your value system will identify for you what is from somebody else and what is truly from you. And I did a podcast on values. Um, I forget which day it was, but it will definitely help you to understand how to find your values and how to honor your values so that, let's see, yes, it was on September the 15th. Increase self-worth, how values build confidence. I walk you through a process of figuring out what your values are. And that will serve you so well with understanding who you are within and aligning yourself with your purpose and eliminating and reducing anxiety and getting more peace and being able to feel those desires that desires coming through you because we are led by desires like we have a desire for this and a desire for that and we go and we do it either we are led by we are we don't want to experience something so we want to avoid pain or we want to pursue pleasure it's either or I would rather pursue pleasure (laughs) in desire than avoid pain, even though avoiding pain can be a, 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 a very strong deterrent as well. So, do you feel that God is friendly to you? Or do you have a servant master relationship where you are to obey? Just obey. And if you obey, you'll get a reward after you've done it. What is your relationship to the spiritual create the spiritual deity or whatever you call it that made this earth work? Because we humans didn't bring ourselves here on our own and make this world work. We can't even get along with each other. There is a force greater than us at work. Do you feel that that force is friendly with you? So it could be that you don't develop a relationship with yourself really because you've been taught that you are not your own. You've been bought with a price and that you have to live through him whether you want to or not. It's not your will but his will be done. When really, he works through your will. He, he gives you the desires and the, and the desires of your heart. It is his good pleasure to give you, you know, the kingdom. I mean, God is a pleasing, pleasurable, deity, uh, force, energy, master. <laughs> it, it, he works through pleasure, you know. Develop a relationship with yourself and with love. Because love is at the base of everything. God is love. Walking, faith works through love. Love heals, love completes, love makes things whole, love is exceptional, there is no fear in love, there is no fear in love, so if there is this 
fearful relationship between you and your creator, how does that help you to be confident or to feel worthy or worthwhile or to have energy to fulfill the things that you want to do and need to do and not feel adrenal like as if your adrenal glands are just completely depleted tired and worn out like discontented unhappy that's not what you came here for you came here to be free you're supposed to thrive and if you have found that you have gotten yourself into a painful relationship because handing over your heart and your mind to even a pastor can put you in a habit of doing it because how you do one thing how you do anything is how you do everything so uh, trust and believe there are people out here in these streets that be seeking someone like yourself who is a loving and kind and hands over your heart and is obedient and they will pounce on that and stump it into dust and not feel bad about it at all and make you feel bad about complaining about what they're doing and tell you to calm down and watch your tone you don't (laughs) calm down or watch your tone you leave if someone cannot respect you understand when you're hurt hear you out love you protect you support you if they just want you to do for them give to them be for them at the expense and of yourself that's a painful relationship that it's not your job to heal that person's not whole they're not complete and you need to look at how did you attract that into your life and I'm saying one of the ways of that door being opened up is through thinking that you're not your own that you can't own yourself that you don't have the right to yourself you don't have that that builds within you a right to not be able to say no uh inability to say no and inabilities you know to set boundaries with porous boundaries or to maintain them um and you know it's exhausting it's exhausting and there's just so much healing that has to take place during the time that you're with the person after the situation has ended if you had children it's possible that those children are hurt and are gonna come back and blame you for it even and because the way that you react is not normal and it's hurtful and it damages other people even if you're an innocent person that is trying to do the right thing and love and be there for everyone you only can take so much and sometimes they don't they won't care they might not understand it and they might see you as the abuser as well and that you are immature and yes it is immature to put your children in a damaging housing home environment Um, it was immature of me very immature of me to do something like that with those lovely babies they didn't ask for that they didn't deserve that but I'll tell you what I am making up for it because they are good wonderful beautiful gifts who deserve to know that 
they're valuable that there's nothing wrong with them and that everybody gets to make mistakes and take chances and get a second chance when they are genuinely loving genuinely loving not doing it to get something from them so we're going to be just fine but how are you doing how is if you're in a painful relationship how is this working out for you right now are you having adult children estrangement problems is it breaking your heart what's going on between you and your adult children these are real consequences resulting from not listening to yourself not trusting yourself because it's going to spill off onto others and you guys you deserve better than that okie doke well this is just me talking about as I said I've had experience with a lot of things and I have overcome a lot I'm in a good place and I want to help others to get to a good place too I am not perfect no one is but I am definitely a lot more whole and complete than I was years ago and I started this podcast because I kept hearing that nudge say open up your mouth and talk almost always when I sit down and talk with someone Um, and I just start talking about you know life experiences we just start talking they're just always like what? (laughs) wait a minute what did you just say? wow you know and to me it's not a big deal because I'm just talking about what I've gone through but I do understand that we all have experiences in our lives problems that we've had that we have solved and it's important for us to share how we've solved those problems and be of service to others so if this has been helpful to you or you know if you want to talk with me more privately about what's going on with you I do have ability for you to reach me you can put time on my calendar I'd be more than happy to talk to you and see how I can help Um, and um, I do have one-on-one coaching packages um, that are very in-depth I do hypnosis um, I am trained in completely in, in EFT I'm trained in NLP um, I have a lot of spiritual modalities so it's more than just talking and also when I work with you um, I do a complete energy profile to get to the default energy ten- tendencies so you can see what levels you're at and we can so we can see how to shift and what might be causing that and it's just a real fast jump start so I love coaching so let's talk I thank you for listening and be free so you can thrive